Um, this case is the mother of all terrorism plots, sir. This is for law enforcement. This is for um, uh, the people that are pastors that are looking to stop the gay propaganda and that would, they realize now that the only way to do it is to have vehicles out there like this that say DemocratsRapeChildren.com, have them parked all over the place and make people go to that site, park them at busy intersections, um, have the, um, the gay kissers photo that says, and a documentary film that says, uh, learn how this photo caused a murder, the biggest political assassination. Um, this is the only way to do this. The only way, because they've just uh, outlawed anybody, any state stopping gay marriages. You can't do it anymore. So that means they're going to be teaching gay sex ed in school. Now there's a new form of terrorism and I'm getting ready to tell you what Democrats have done. Drug cartels are behind this. They are, uh, to this is to the Texas Rangers Law Enforcement. We have a $14 trillion lawsuit um, on behalf of the government. Key Tam lawsuit, it was accepted by Kieran Shanahan Law Firm. He was for a year the director of public safety up in, in North Carolina, the top lawman above the SBI and above the troopers. And he was run out of office by Ann Cook of Cook Communications when she found out that he's my attorney in this case. They're waiting for $15,000 to start this case. What we need to do is all these pastors need to do exactly what was done to Governor Rick Perry because he also has political consultants. Those are our enemies here. His lawyer is even a Democrat tort lawyer that, that won a billion point five. So what you need to do is every Republican governor and the Republican Governors, governors Association as a whole challenge their 5013 status, file charges just like was filed against uh, Governor Perry um, against our governor, McCreary, and every, every other Republican governor to draw attention to this. It is burying a murder that involves a terrorism, Statute 490, um, tampering with evidence, um, hindering a prosecution of terrorism involving a murder, obstruction of justice in a murder, but you just take out charges for um, tax fraud, allowing these 5013 companies, uh, uh, organizations like the uh, National Rifle Association and the Republican National Committee to take money and donations, claiming that they're going to help get conservatives elected when they're not. Okay, And here's how it's a terrorism attack. 12 things Democrats do to create breaches in our homeland security. And this is Text has just been added to the website. Making this an issue is easily rise to the level of outright treason and domestic terrorism. You charge your governor and your attorney general, the Republican G Attorney General's Association. This is for all the pastors and all the lawmen at the Texas Rangers Law Enforcement. We want to take a trillion dollars and triple the size of your law enforcement agency a thousand times over because you're the only law enforcement agency that is not beholden to the Department of Justice. You can file charges against those people. And every sheriff Go to sheriffs, uh, countysheriffsproject.org. You need to challenge those people's tax-free status because they're not telling these sheriffs. The, the sheriffs have enormous power, and they've uh, sworn an oath to defend the Constitution. The Democrats are trying to destroy the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the economy. To, and, and Obama has even come out and said, and he's a Democrat, that we, we are bullies. America is a bully. And we need, for the next 20 or 30 years, we need to allow China and Russia to rule the world and be the superpowers and just see what happens there. Those are non-Christian nations. They want to, to destroy America to, to prove that there is no God. The book, More Than a Carpenter, proves there is a God. And the book, Evidence That Demands a Verdict. There's all kinds of apologetics type books. But anyway, they're outlawing the NSA wiretapping, leaving the borders open, stopped enhanced interrogation, crushed economy by forcing banks to give home loans to likely defaulters. Um, they cut the defense budget in half. They're giving away our sovereignty to the UN. They're allowing foreign countries to arrest our soldiers at any time on trumped up war charges, uh, war crime charges, destroying the morale by putting gays in the military, crippled recruitment efforts by putting gays in the military, um, um, and forcing recruitment centers off of college campuses. This is Democrats. Political correctness is all from Democrats. All of it. 
They, they don't want you to search the guy with the towel wrapped around his head, uh, the Muslim guy in the airport, but they want you to search the two-year-old and the 95-year-old grandma. That is political correctness from Democrats wanting to allow Muslim Sharia law in America. I want every gay person out there to know the first thing they're going to do is they're going to execute every gay person. To, and all the women out there, you need to vote Republican too. Because they're going to take away every driver's license from every woman, your, all your education credentials. You're not going to be allowed to own a business. This is what Democrats want. They want Sharia law in America. And it's already in London and in Europe. I'm not sure the exact country right off the top of my head. But you can Google that. Their judges are Muslim Sharia judges. And they can get away with murder there. Extortion would be eliminated with two policies. No death penalty uh, to frame with because they're using it to frame people. This is um, uh, reminding people that there is new types of, of um, um, terrorism now. The, um, the types of uh, um, terrorists, Iranian terrorists crosses a bo crossing the borders, dirty bombs, suitcase nukes, subway bombings, jets flown into tall buildings, forcing 250 people to jump from a 100-story burning building with thousands of people watching, multiple hijacked school buses filled with small children as their next targets soft targets of Muslims, poisoning town water supplies, Mexican cartel identity theft, and cartel kidnapping is already a new type. This is a new type of terrorism. They are taking our elections and handing them to foreign enemies in the Democrat Party that hate America, that want to destroy our economy. There is no stopping it except for radical ways of getting past the media. The Democrat media wants elections that are close call to make more money. They've got to have close call elections, just like if the Super Bowl was um, 80 to 0 at halftime. They, they, there's not 120 million people watching anymore. There's 20 million. So they have to give tens of millions of dollars back to the big advertisers like Ford and Procter and & Gamble and Budweiser. This is the only way to bypass the media. There, this is breaking the media containment of these 20 Democrat atrocities. This is what we have to do as Christians all across America. This is what we have to do. And file charges against the politicians that are aware that their buddies in the political um, consulting business are making money off the chaos. They are thriving on the chaos. And this is what happens when you fail to stand up against your politician that you've been given money to, this happens to your sons, your neighbors, your nephews, Mr. Pastor. So you get all your people together and you remember that our goal is to have conversa conversations about breaking media containment. One example is Sheriff Arpaio, very creative man, called about Obama's birth certificate to Russia and said, Russia, your radio stations are chicken to talk about the 25-something um, the discrepancies in our, president, our fake president's birth certificate. And they said, we will report it in the morning. It was all over the media in Russia. They had to bring it to America and report it. America had to report it because they were reporting it. And so another one is the Westbury Baptist Church. We don't agree with what they do, but they broke media, media containment with their signs that say, dead, thank God for dead soldiers, gay people should die, all this stuff. And they protested at funerals of soldiers. That's terrible. But they broke media containment, and their message is a bunch of garbage anyway. I'm not saying anything they've done was right. I'm making you think about how to do something so huge that the media will be dragged kicking and screaming and have to do this story. The newspapers are chicken. They're saying they're chicken, they're the conservative ones, and that they're scared to get murdered if they do this story. The the financial publications must do this story because Republicans are going to win so big that they're going to be 2,000 oil wells drilled in every state. That is financial news that they cannot cover or they would be guilty of insider stock trading the next day. We have a right as citizens to know this financial news that's going on. That's the kind of creativity you need to think.